Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can export uh, things like characters and entire scenes uh, from iClone directly into Unreal Engine. So we're not going to be using 3D Exchange this time, we're going to be using the Export FBX feature directly from iClone. And this is a two-part tutorial. In the second part we're going to be talking about how you can import your own animations and character controls. We're going to be messing around a little bit in Unreal and kind of showing you how you can uh, bring in your character and their own personalized animations and control them around the screen. So what we're going to end up with is something like you see on the screen right here. We're going to just go ahead and play it. I'm going to press uh, F11 so we get a better uh, view. You can see we have our soldier here in a nice uh, idle position. And this scene that we're in right now is uh, a Rome scene you can purchase from the content store. I'll show you where you can uh, find that in just a moment here. So I'm just going to take a little walk around the uh, little area here. Okay, so, uh, you know, kind of like a regular uh, first-person shooter kind of scene. And we're going to be uh, achieving this by the end of this. Let's get off that box there. <laughs> by the end of this uh, tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and press Escape and press F11 now and go back into this. Uh, we're going to be starting a new project uh, eventually. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this down for now. And we're going to go into uh, Explorer here, or rather uh, Google Chrome. And this is the pack that we're going to be uh, exporting into Unreal, this fantasy pack Rome. You can find it in the content store at this link on the top there. I'll provide a link in the description as well. You can see uh, pretty cool stuff, a lot of prefabs you can uh, put together, and a couple of uh, preset scenes, uh, projects, which I'll show you in just a moment. All right, so let's go ahead and close that down and go into iClone now. So I already have this scene loaded up. This is the Rome scene in iClone. If I zoom out, you can see it's a pretty cool looking scene. We got a lot of stuff in here, uh, some buildings, some uh, miscellaneous accessories and props and stuff. All right, so kind of a cool uh, first person type uh, scene if it was set in uh, ancient Rome, I guess. Uh, you can find that by going to, once you purchase the pack, you can go to uh, Projects up here, and there's a special folder called QTE for uh, Quantum Theory Entertainment. That's the developer of this pack. You can go to Rome, and we're using this Rome Scene 1. Okay, so the new feature with iClone 7.2 is the ability, like I mentioned, to export FBX uh, files directly from iClone without the need for a 3D exchange. So we load in this uh, Rome Scene 1. Let's go to the Scene Manager here and take a look at all the props we have. Tons and tons of props, okay? So tons of like archways and stuff. Everything's put, been put together meticulously by uh, Quantum Theory Entertainment himself. All right, so what we want to do if we want to export all this stuff, we need to shift and select it. So everything that we want to export, let's go ahead, click the top one, go all the way to the bottom here, and shift and click again. So we have all that stuff here. You can see it's all selected now with the yellow selection boxes. And let's go ahead and go up to File and Export. And you can see there's an export FBX option here. Now, what we want to do here is we want to choose a target tool preset. Let's go ahead and choose the Unreal Engine. And everything will be all set up for Unreal Export. You don't need to worry about any of the settings. It's all taken care of with this Unreal setting target tool preset, rather, up here. And you want to select current frame because we don't need an animation. We don't have any animations in this project. We will later, but uh, we'll talk about that in the second part of this tutorial. And just go ahead and embed textures. Uh, for, the, for the props, it doesn't really matter. You can select delete uh, hidden mesh if you want. Delete unused morphs. There's not going to be many morphs uh, when it comes to props. But let's go ahead and just select export. And we'll select, uh, we'll just call it, uh, you know, Rome. Rome. And save that as Rome.fbx onto our desktop. And then we'll take a couple minutes and we'll come back once that's exported. All right, so once that's done, you'll have a Rome.fbx file that you can find on your desktop. So let's go down to our uh, desktop here. You can see there's Rome.fbx. Uh, so what we want to do now is we want to import that into Unreal. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go back to uh, Unreal here. Now, what we want to do is I want to start a new project because we're going to use the presets uh, created in the third person project here. So let's go to new project and just double click on uh, third person and create project. And then it's going to load up that new project, and we'll just go ahead and give it a quick play just so you're familiar with what it is. You'll find it's very similar to the project that we showed at the very beginning of this tutorial, the uh, one where our soldier is walking through the Rome uh, setting there. So let's go ahead and just give it, give it a play back here. You can see this is your uh, standard third person, okay? So we have this uh, mannequin uh, dude just kind of running through this uh, little set here. Okay, that's pretty much all it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete all this stuff in the scene. We're going to replace that with our Rome scene. Okay, so let's just go ahead and press uh, escape here and uh, stop that. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can uh, get an overall perspective of things. And let's just go ahead and delete everything. We can just uh, select it from the arena here. Just shift select from the outliner and uh, delete. And let's just delete all this stuff as well here one by one. 
Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to bring in all the Rome stuff that I mentioned before. Oops, I think I accidentally deleted something I didn't want to there. Yeah, the lighting. Okay, I didn't want to delete the lighting there. That last box. Delete. All right, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to just uh, go ahead and create a couple new folders here for our Rome project. So let's go to our content folder here and click on Add New and select New Folder. Let's just call this folder Rome. Okay. And this folder here is where we're going, to, we're going to import in our FBX file. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. Since I exported that FBX with materials, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to import into Unreal. If you want to test things out really quickly, then import it in without materials because the materials will take up a lot of import time. In addition, any linked or attached, uh, attached objects in iClone will currently be wrongly offset. And this this uh, issue is going to be fixed in iClone 7.3. But for now, if you have linked or attached objects in your scene, you might find them importing in the wrong position. Okay, we'll address that in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and back to our desktop here. And let's just click and drag our Rome and Alt-Tab over to uh, Unreal here. Where we are? There we go. And just click and drag it right into our content browser here. Okay, so now for the FBX import options, we want to remove skeletal mesh. We don't need to import the mesh or anything like that. We want to keep auto generate collision because this will uh, generate some collision on the uh, on the plane that we can just walk our character along. So we'll keep that in there. We also want to make sure that we have convert scene selected here. All the other stuff doesn't really matter too much, but you do want to make sure that you have import materials and import textures selected uh, since we do have uh, textures in our uh, in our exported FBX there and search location local. That's fine. Uh, everything here doesn't really matter for LOD settings. We'll worry about that in a separate tutorial. But for now, let's go ahead and select import all. Now this might take a uh, few minutes here, so you may want to go out for a walk or something, especially if you have a scene that's as large as this with as many materials as this. So we'll come back in just a minute when this is finished exporting, or importing rather. All right, so once your FBX has been imported, after you've gone for your little stroll, you can see that we have in the content browser all the uh, little items, all the uh, props and stuff that were included in the FBX files. Now you may notice as well with, with the current version, there will be a lot of redundant materials. Now this will be solved with the update for iClone 7.21, so don't worry about that. It'll be uh, automatic material linking with 7.21. But for now, you may have to deal with a number of extra textures, but like I mentioned, that will be resolved in the next update, which is coming momentarily. All right, so if you want to get all your stuff into the scene, um, basically you just got to go and look for the stuff that starts with Rome. Okay, so the items that start with Rome, so you can see Rome Walkway, Rome Elevated Stairs, blah, blah, blah. They're all named, uh, they all start with the name Rome, okay? So let's click on the last one here and let's go up to the very top, okay, until we stop seeing the, the name Rome. Yeah, so we'll keep going here, keep going, keep going. There's Rome basket, fence, archway, and finally we have this last wall here, okay? So let's just shift and select all that stuff. And what I'm gonna do is just click and drag it into my scene, basically. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag. And you'll see that'll import everything into your scene here. We can kind of scroll a little bit just to get a little overview of the entire scene. Now, it doesn't really matter where we click and drag it in. We can always just reset the transform by going over here and uh, selecting reset to default. And that'll reset it back to the original uh, kind of position here. And since everything has already been set with collision, we have the collision set on the import. Uh, what we can do is we can just go ahead and give it a shot and uh, play it. Okay, so now we have our character. Let's just uh, click in the viewport here. We can walk all the way through this scene in through this little area here, kind of uh, pan around our character and move back. And uh, so everything has collisions all set. Uh, we even have this uh, unnecessary item here that's used for uh, the lighting and stuff like that. So the uh, emissive lighting. So we'll go ahead and just uh, press escape there. And let's delete all those items that we don't need. So I'm gonna just uh, click on that and delete it. And let's just uh, move a little bit over here. And there's a couple more over here, I think. So all, all these emissive lighting uh, things, planes that are used for emissive lighting, basically. You can see there's a shadow on the ground and that one's uh, kind of invisible. There you go, found you. All right, and uh, maybe something over here, but uh, I think we'll uh, work with that for now. So I'll uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, basically delete all that stuff we don't want with this uh, third person plane. We don't need that either. So we can just go ahead and delete it. And a little uh, player question mark documentation actor thing there. We can delete that as well. Okay, so that's really about all there is to it for the scene import. Uh, like I mentioned, the uh, redundant material issue will be fixed in the next update, which is coming momentarily. So let's go ahead and go back into iClone, and let's take a look at how to import our character uh, via FBX as well. And we'll replace the character, uh, we'll replace the U U UE4 mannequin with the iClone character. Um, so I don't need any of the props in the scene, so what we can do right now is we can just delete this since we've already taken care of that. 
And once that's deleted, I'm gonna bring in my character. So over the content tab here, it's a custom character, a custom UN soldier pack. I'll just load this in and go over to uh, the Google Chrome here. This is uh, from the Task Force combo uh, from one of our developers, Antarius. You can see in the top left there. Uh, really cool stuff, a lot of vehicles and, and stuff, all these clothing items. Uh, included bases and presets all included with the character creator uh, preset and everything like that you can watch the video to know more and all that stuff but i'm just going to go ahead and close this for now and go back to our character in iclone where is he here let's just press the f hot key to focus on him all right there he is okay so there's our dude and all we need to do is uh i generally recommend making sure that your character is at the scene root so what you want to do uh, if you decide to click and drag him in somewhere you can just go over here to your uh, attributes and reset zero out the position of your character. Um, I recommend this for uh, later. I'll talk about that in Unreal a little bit later. Uh, but for this example, in this part one of the tutorial, we're, on we're only going to export the character itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to File and Export and Export FBX. Okay, no animation. Again, use the Unreal preset. We're using the current frame only. Uh, we want to embed textures for sure. We want to uh, delete hidden mesh. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, unused morphs right now. Let's just go ahead and export that. And we'll just call it uh, Soldier. Oops. Soldier. There we go. On the desktop. Give that a save. And while we're waiting for that to save, let's go all tab back over to Unreal here and create a uh, separate folder for our soldier here. So I'm going to go back to the content uh, level there and add new. Let's add a new folder. I'll go up here to new folder and we'll call this one Soldier. Soldier dude. Oops. No spaces in Unreal. Okay, so Soldier. And let's go ahead and uh, open up that uh, folder there. For us to import in, I think we're done in iClone right now. So let's go back to iClone just to check. Yep, okay. So I'm onto our desktop here. And you can see we have the soldier.fbx right here. So we'll click and drag that into Unreal as well. And uh, there we go. And this one's going to have a little bit of a different import option. And it will import a lot faster because we're not importing in an entire scene. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and select a skeleton. For this part one, we're going to choose the default Unreal skeleton because we're going to just basically be, be replacing the uh, UE4 mannequin here. So let's go ahead and select that. And we don't need to import in any animations in this one, so let's just deselect import animations. And what you do want to make sure you do is uh, down here under mesh, you want to update skeleton reference, okay? And use TOA as reference pose, okay? Make sure you have those two selected. And go down here, everything else should be okay. We don't need to worry about materials. And just go ahead and select import. Okay, so once that's done, you may see some error messages up here. Don't worry about those for now. Let's go ahead and close this down. And we don't really need to worry about our compiling shaders right now. Let's just go ahead and uh, select our soldier item here in the uh, content browser. Just double click on that. It's going to load up the soldier here. And once we've loaded up that soldier, we'll be able to test out all the animations for the embedded uh, UE4 character uh, in the third person uh, project here on our character. So if we go up here to animation, because it shares the same skeleton as the UE4 mannequin, you can see here, you can just uh, select the mannequin here. We can switch the, uh, go back to mesh here, and we can preview animations this way as well in the new version of Unreal. So let's go to preview animation. We can choose something like, uh, oh, I don't know, let's choose the walk here, for example, third person walk. And you can see the preview on our character right here. So it's really as easy as that, just importing your character. As long as they share the same skeleton uh, as your dude in Unreal, as the uh, UE4 skeleton, you can do stuff like this. Uh, you can preview something like the uh, idol as well. Uh, where's the idol? Third person idol here. So this is the idol for your uh, uh, Unreal character as well. Okay, good stuff. All right, we don't need to worry about this for now. Uh, what we're going to do next is just replace this character with our soldier. So we can use our soldier in the project. So to do that, we need to go over here to our mannequin rather to our third person blueprints here and into blueprints we need to check our third person character all right and what we want to do here is we want to make sure we select the mesh uh, go to our viewport here and in animation mode you can see under, under mesh here rather we have selected the sk mannequin now if you import any character from iclone or any other program and you import it with this mesh or with this skeleton rather you can easily just swap these out so you can just go ahead and select soldier and it'll have the same animations here all right, if we go ahead and compile that and give it a save, basically what's gonna happen is we can close this down now and our Unreal playable character will be replaced with the soldier, which is pretty cool. Simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and give this a playback and there's our soldier. Now, right now he's using the same animations as the UE4 character again. So uh, move him around just like this. You can have him jump and stuff. Whee! I thought I deleted that thing. All right, anyways, okay. So we have our character running around. 
And it's really as easy as that. So uh, in the next part of this tutorial, part two, what I'm going to show you is how to import in your own custom skeleton from iClone. Well, we're going to use the same soldier character, but we're also going to export a couple of animations. And we're also going to create our own uh, state machine with a simple idle and a run, or not really a run, more like a walk. So we're going to create that uh, simple, basically the most simple state machine you can possibly create in the next tutorial. And we'll run with that. So that's about it. So uh, thanks so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned for part two of the tutorial, like I mentioned. And I hope to see you in the next video.